Hey what's up YouTube, I am EM Robotics and I am going to be showing you how to build a proportional line for low code. So let's get right to it. Okay so step one, go into your flow control, pull out a loop block. So that's first step. Second step, go into your sensor you see this color sensor block, pull that out, put that in your loop. Step three, go into your data operations and then get two math blocks. And put them right next to each other. And then we go into our action and we pull out a move steering block and we put that behind the two sensor we put that behind the three blocks that we've already put just like so so now we'll have to set these blocks to their values for this code to actually work so go down here measure reflected light intensity and it should come up with this little light symbol next step we're going to set this to subtract and we're going to we're going to um set this to multiply okay now we're going to set this to on like like so alrighty next now we're going to do some wiring wire this from your light sensor block into a the result of um the result in your first math block will be will go into your a value in your second math block in your in, the result in your second math block will go into your move steering block where it has an arrow okay so now we have to set our actual values where it says b you kind of have to set your light sensor value. So, we have on your robot, you scroll into your port view, scroll across until you see your light sensor on your robot. That will that will show you a number of what it is in between the line. So, this proportional line flow um, code only works when your color sensor is positioned halfway in the white section and halfway in the black section section of your line. So your target value is the line is the is the center of that circle. So when you see that red circle that your light center projects, that in the middle of that circle is the is the um is the line in between. That's your target value. Too far to the left and too far to the right is gonna be is going to be what where your robot makes the decision to switch back to your target value. So, in this case, my my robot sensor shows me 22. So, I'm going to put 22 in my value. Okay. So, in the multi in your second math block, this is going to be where you put your your next value. So, this is for to make it smooth, smooth decisions or um, jagged decisions. So if your robot jiggles a lot, goes right, left, right, left really fast, that is because your your um your KP is too high. So what I'm gonna do is put negative two as my value. So it's not too high and it's not too low. So it'll be a nice smooth smooth line follow. Maybe a couple of jaggers um, in sharp corners. That is something that it will vary. So obviously every robot's different so this is going to be a value so your two math block values are going to have to vary to what your specifications are. So make sure you look out for that. And obviously in your um, move steering block you just want to set your power so I'm going to do 20 speed. 20 speed is a reasonable power for line follow. Um, that is my suggestion. 
um, you can't have a you can't have a line follow that is too fast. Um, you need it to be just the right speed so it can it can do its line follow. Otherwise, it will make over corrections and it will go off track very easily. And if it's too slow, well, yes, you can have it too slow. It will just take forever. All right, so this is basically the code. Um, yeah, that's basically the code. So with your loop block, you ha it says unlimited. Unless your robot doesn't want to go, um, unless you w you want your code to go unlimited, you wanna choose you wanna choose something um, so your robot can stop. So I'm gonna go with time. That's pretty. That's the easiest thing. That's pretty much the easiest that you can use. Um, it's literally what you do. Come up, it comes up here. Time. You just go. I will just go. Maybe. I don't know. Just a random value. How about let's just say 11 seconds. So your robot will be line following for 11 seconds, and then it'll tell the robot to stop. That'll be the end of the loop. And so, if you're if you really if you really want this to work, you'll go your steering, bring that up. Instead of on for, on for rotation, you just go off. So everyone, that is the simple code. Um, it's it's pretty simple. It has it's effective, simple but effective. Um, Less is more, so you have yeah. Then again, you yeah you'll have to play around with these values because they can differ from robots, and of course you can play around with your um you can play around with your measure color. You can do color ambient light, or you can just simply do reflected light. So yeah. Anyway, guys, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Anyway. See ya!